There's a simple yet powerful purity to being the first at something. Those steps into the unknown taken by the likes of the Wright brothers, Rosa Parks, or Neil Armstrong can never be undone or outdone. They possess that rare, unbreakable record, one that changed the world around them and in turn changed us. As we look around our modern age, it is hard to find firsts left to achieve, but there's still plenty of opportunities to change the way things are in our communities, our professions, and our pastimes. Tonight, we unveil the inaugural NFL Honors Game Changer Award. Unlike the other awards this evening, this one is not limited to players or coaches. Instead, it is open to anyone who undertakes the tremendous task of affecting positive change in the greater community of football, no matter the level of play. The first recipient of this award is also quite unique. Of all the winners to have graced the NFL honor stage over the last six years, she is the first female. And if Sam Gordon has anything to say about it, she will be far from the last. <laughs> team. I scored 35 touchdowns, got around 2,000 rushing yards, and made 65 tackles. It's crazy because it's like a girl playing football. Why is this such a monumental thing? Football is the most ingrained activity in all of our communities across the nation, and girls have virtually no opportunities to be participants in. Sam has that courage to step up and say, this isn't right, and I'm going to do something about it. to a middle school to give a speech about working hard and I asked the question how many girls here would like to play tackle football and it seemed like almost every hand in the room went up okay so I know this one is a large there's this many girls at this one middle school how many are there in Utah in the entire nation in the world and next spring we had a league up and growing that was the spring of 2015 when Sam Gordon started the Utah Girls Football League, every spot on every team was filled in less than a day. Ready, hit! Now, nearly three years later, the league's gone from 50 players to almost 400, with its impact reverberating everywhere people play football. Our Girls Football League has grown so well and become so competitive that you can see other leagues starting to pop up across the nation. It just really shows girls all over are wanting to play football. It's always been there. We just needed somebody to start it. Sam is a game changer because she's shining the light on football so that girls can feel that I belong. I have a seat at the table, and I was born with that right. Sam Gordon is now 14 but she's still fighting for just the chance to play football. The new mission is to start a girls team at her high school, not just to fulfill her dream, but to pave the way for the next generation. Ain't no party like a Mustang party. Hoorah, hoorah. It's amazing that football can let so many different types of girls play. I can see girls' confidence growing as they're playing, and I can see girls having so many more opportunities. Not only can they be players, they can be coaches, they can be commentators, even be the NFL commissioner. She's taking the steps to finish what Title IX started. Finish equal opportunities for women in sports. I just got hired. It is my honor to present the first Game Changer Award to Sam Gordon. on a little secret. Girls love football. <laughs> to, <laughs> to 
tomorrow, millions of girls will be watching the Super Bowl. But watching the sport we love the most is not enough. We want to play football too, on separate girls' teams. I know girls want to play because I asked them. Before Title IX, some people thought that girls were not interested in playing sports. But they were wrong. They were just as wrong as people who argued that women did not want to vote, to hold public office, or to be lawyers or doctors. People who think girls don't want to play football are wrong too. Throughout history, women have had to fight for the right to follow their dreams. My dream is that high schools and colleges will offer girls football teams and I'm going to fight to see my dream come true. Utah will be the birthplace of girls high school football. By growing up playing football, women will have the same experience and knowledge of the game that men have. Men that end up as coaches, scouts, executives, and broadcasters. If we are allowed to play, the doors to those opportunities will be thrown wide open. Equality is our Super Bowl. I want to thank the girls, parents, coaches, and volunteers of the Utah Girls Tackle Football League for making history. And thank you, Commissioner Goodell and the NFL for shining a big bright light on the most important movement in women's sports. Yeah, 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 yeah. NFL Honors is brought to you by Secret.